Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Today we're uh, going to be just looking at the new animals of the uh, Southeast Asia DLC that was released by, from by Frontier uh, not too long ago, or earlier today, uh, 30th of March. So uh, in here, somewhere, is the giant uh, Malaysian leaf insects. As well. So, as you can see, can't really get the, can I get that? As you can see, for an exhibit animal, it is extremely detailed, like extremely detailed, and uh, exhibit animals are not really uh, looked over too much. This is quite nice. Well, well, yeah. It's nice to see if they've added detail. So, we're going to go in um, alphabetical order from Zoopedia. So, this is the Babrusa. Let's see. It is quite small, but obviously, it's like a type of hog or pig. I'll just show you the Zoopedia, just go over it, pause the video if you want to have a look at it in detail. Okay. And now the one that um, people uh, wanted was the uh, Binturong. And, uh, they got the remodel that people wanted because what the one they show on their um, Twitter not too long ago, um, yeah, it's just uh, you can go have a look at it for yourself if you scroll down a bit. But then they remodeled it, and so looks much better than the old one. So let's have a look at Zoopedia. As you can see, it can live with uh, the new Malayan tapirs and the new sunburn. Okay, so now for the doll. Now, uh, just to just to warn you, if you're going to add this to your zoo, you need quite a lot of space for this canid. Um, as you can see, I had to expand it quite a bit just so that they were happy. So yeah, there's two of them, and they need. 1200 meters square meters of space. Other than that, they're pretty uh, nice animals, you know. They can, uh, I believe it's like, like eight they can have in a pack. See, they're endangered. Uh, oh, 25. <laughs> See, that's all the. They don't uh, benefit from other animals living with them. Doesn't mean they can't live with them, have other animals. Just wouldn't recommend putting them with um, herbivores their size because they'll probably kill them. Now, the clouded leopard is uh, it's one of the. I believe it's only two animals that can use the um, hammock. And. Uh, uh, there's a picture of the clouded leopard using it in the thumbnail. And so, they're pretty nice, you know. Two here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, if you can hear my fan, I'm sorry, it's just really hot. So, I can understand. Um, yeah, they uh, need climbing space, like the Binturong. And, uh, here is their Zoopedia. There you can see Hammock. 
lots of benefit from uh, any animals looking at it. And so now I've put the next two animals together because they benefit being with each other, which is the Malayan tapir, which you can see over there. Just a bear's tapir, really, just being coloured. And the Fariscus monkey. Fariscus? Fariscus, yeah. Okay, so I'll show you the tapir first. Uh, just, as I said, just the bear's tapir, just be coloured, really. Obviously with the cute juveniles, but I haven't got any juveniles in the zoo yet, so, so. That's the other one over there. But it looks weird. And this is the Proviscus monkey. It's obviously got that funky nose. I can recognise it pretty easily. Uh, my other one's over here. They need, um... I believe it's three to be happy. Right, go back. They're endangered as well. Yeah, three to nineteen. I've got two in here, I believe, so because the other one so Uh, looking at the uh, food um, animals can eat, if I go back to the, is it the Binturong? They eat eggs, which I think is the only animal that eats eggs, I'm not necessarily sure. So, look at the Malayan's tape, it. super good. They're also endangered, 3,000 of them. Not a lot. One to two, like the bear's tapir. Yeah, look, there's the bear's tapir. Pretty much the same. And all just recolored. This game. One thing I do want to see is if they've actually made the Malayan tapir bigger than the bear's tapir. So. Yeah, they can be with quite a few animals. And now for the um, one of the let's say highlights of the pack, because I mean it's in the um, icon for the pack is the sun bear, somewhere around here. There they are. So so far I haven't really seen any unique behaviours of them from them. I haven't really necessarily been with them a lot, but they also can use the Hammock, and, uh, which is nice. And um, I believe there are no new scene pieces because they just wanted it to be a pack specifically for the animals. There is a, I believe it's a time scenario, so a bit like the campaign, but you have to do it in like a certain amount of time with this pack, which is quite nice. This is the, uh, I'm not sure if they've done that for all of the other packs, because this is the only pack I own. Um, I believe they've done something to do with campaign with the Arctic pack, if I remember correctly, because I watched like Best in Slot play it. So, tell me if I'm wrong there. But I think probably in order from my favourite to my least favourite is probably Binturong being my favourite. Um, I quite like how the uh, Babrusa is unique because obviously it's got the the male has this, these tusks, I think is quite cool. I mean, females don't have it. Just put the squirrel thing on the roof. But, so, I'd say I probably prefer the male over the female because of the tusks for the babusa. Um I think probably Clouded Leopard is my third favourite because I like cats, some big cats, so and I mean it's pretty cute. I mean, oh, okay. Look at that face. Okay. <laughs> That's what I 
carried away. Um, my next one. Um, probably gonna say the Sunder. I mean, it's. If you think about it, it's like most like most of the bears in this game, I'm guessing. I haven't really been with it too long. This is quite unique. I mean, it's, it can use a hammock, so. That's a, gets a point from me, because it has the hammock. Um, probably the proboscis monkey next, because of uh, its weird nose, and that's just unique. Uh, one thing about the monkey, though, is um where is it? I believe it's enrichment. Yeah, enrichment for toy enrichment. They need a lot, so I would only recommend you have the, you put the monkey down when you've got like a lot of enrichments that would be compatible with the proboscis monkey. Because otherwise, they're not going to be. Not Gonna have too high of a welfare. I mean, it doesn't really matter as much with enrichment, but uh, so then my uh, sick favorite would be the doll. I mean, I'm guessing it's kind of like Dingo from the Australia pack. But the one thing I don't really like about the doll is the amount of space it needs. But I mean. If they need that much space in real life, then they have to do that in game. But <coughs> so it's just if you you don't have much space in your zoo. I mean, I've got that entire map to use. So, but if you have quite a s small space to put it in, then you might not be able to cram it in. It'd be better off with something probably like the. Vince wrong or the Bruiser. Then my seventh favourite is all the way over here, the Malayan Tapir. Obviously not being last because last is probably actually mm, yeah. Yeah, this is my seventh favourite. I mean might not use it, maybe if I was like using the proboscis monkey, but might put the Malayan Tapir in for the interspecies bonus. And then my least favourite, yeah, I'd say Joint 7th actually, because of the amount of detail they put in to the uh, leaf insect. What was it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that is a lot of detail for a small creature. Which I like, well, small insect, I should say. Anyway. I might do the uh, like a playthrough of the uh, little scenario that comes with the pack if you want. Just leave a comment in the comment section if you want me to do that. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.